down there? No, just now. Well, no, I would just. These are going to cost a lot. These cost an awful lot to print. I think we might be live. Ron, could you double check that for me, please? No. And I do talk to myself all the time. Good, thank you. I understand me. <laughs> hey, Scott. Hello. Good, how are you? I just heard it. I think I'm fighting now. Flu or something, so. It's going back around. If you uh, see me jet out. I'll take it. Take over. Okay. All right. <laughs> I thought so. The, again, my screen saying it was dark. the luxury of being sick. Three minutes and sixteen seconds. Sniffling's bad enough. This is not. This is the live one, right? Not the test one. Yes, I shut the live or the test off. How are you? I don't need. Nah, okay. As long as the meeting hasn't started, you're not late. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm better than okay. Not much. Not much. I'm a little better. <laughs> All of us old guys groan a lot. You'll get there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Can't see around. What are you saying? Get there. Can't see the whole I don't need to do it. Are you talking about the crowd? I'm talking about standing in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. It might be what's happening here. Oh, standing in the back might be who it is. Well, it's not the owner. I'm guessing that's who that is. Go ahead, Dennis. How you doing, big guy? Yeah. See, we got our bodyguard here. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm I get it. I'm trying to keep up right. with your standards. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't he with that? Oh. <clears throat> Can we play each other? I guess there's something else. There we go. Okay. I'm doing good. How you been, big guy? Oh, good. Good. They didn't, they're not here. It's ready. Dennis. It's ready. I now call the Norton City Regular Council meeting to order Monday, April 9th, 2018. Time is 7 p.m. Would you please stand for Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silent prayer? Call the roll, please. Mr. Gaynor? Here. Mr. McLoone? Here. 
Mr. Courant? Here. Mr. Towsley? Here. Ms. Whipke? Here. Mr. Kernan? Here. Mr. Pilat? Here. Uh, committee of the Whole uh, reports from standing committees. Just like to acknowledge that we received the March 2018 budget reports. Anybody else have anything to report from their committees? Uh, we do have a public hearing tonight, but that will take place uh, at 7.15 or, or later. Uh, we have no communications from the public. Uh, consideration of minutes. Minutes, uh, are there any corrections, additions, or alterations of the minutes of the regular council meeting of March 26, 2018? Hearing none, those will be accepted as submitted. Any corrections, additions, or alterations to the minutes of the committee work session of April 2nd, 2018? <clears throat> Hearing none, those will be accepted as submitted. Any corrections, additions, or alterations of the special meeting uh, April 2nd, 2018? Hearing none, those will be accepted as submitted as well. Reports from officers, boards, and commissions. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, just want to know or announce that uh, I know you guys already know, but uh, Holly Miller um, was at the at City Hall twice over the last uh, two weeks. Um, last week was the uh, final time that she was here. Met with a number of our residents. Um, like I said, I don't know that um, exactly how many and who all she was able to help, but I know that anybody that came out that um, qualified for help, hopefully they were able to uh, receive some help that uh, Summit County was able to provide for them. And uh, as a city, it, I'd like to just thank Summit County and Holly Miller for coming out and um, helping our residents where they could. I also sent an email to her uh, that next morning thanking her and Summit County as well, but just wanted to announce that on the floor. I know that um, she has agreed, it's my understanding, she's agreed to come to um, uh, Councilman Carant's um, meeting, town hall meeting here in the next couple of weeks, but, um, and she'll be helping uh, here to talk about it a little bit more and uh, help where she can, but I felt that it was important that we got it out as quickly as we could, and she was able to come before uh, any more residents started to uh, sign contracts with uh, companies in order to get some work done. So, but thank you. That's all I have at this time. Mr. Fala. The door hangers for phase three should be going out uh, this week. Hopefully we get a nice day of weather uh, to get those out. So those will be going out to all the residents. Um, for the most part, that project's wrapped up. Um, just seating, grading. You know, we get a lot of calls about um, the grass and the, and, the, and the. They really can't do landscaping this time of year. They are planning to come back and repair all the uh, deficiencies in the work. So we just ask people to be patient because number one, grass isn't going to grow when it's snowing, unfortunately, uh, but but they will come back and do the seating and grading and landscaping that needs to be done. Mr. Messner? Uh, nothing at this time, thank you. Mr. Markey? Nothing at this time, thank you. All right, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have a public hearing uh, this evening about 7.15, but we'll move on with a uh, regular council meeting until that time. Uh, introduction of new legislation, Resolution 45, Mr. Towsley. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to offer Resolution 45 2018 for its first reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. A resolution confirming the appointment of Justin Markey to a two year term as a representative on the local board of income tax review of the city of Norton and declaring an emergency. And that's gonna be a first reading only. Thank you. Uh, next we have ordinance 46 2018 and that falls under my committee. 
So I'd like to offer Ordinance 46 2018 for its first reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance authorizing the mayor and or city administrator to execute and deliver a contract for legal services in connection with the legal action related to property damage on Houston Road and declaring an emergency. This time I move to waive the second and third readings so the administration can proceed with that. A second. <clears throat> Motion and second to waive. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. And at this time I move to adopt Ordinance 46 26 2018. A second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Just for everybody's information, this is where Houston Road was damaged and we're going back after the the company that created the damage. Roll call, please. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Next is Resolution 47-2018, Mr. Towsley. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Ordinance 47-2018 for its first reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. A resolution confirming the appointment of Suzanne Boyer to a two-year term as a representative on the local Board of Income Tax Review of the City of Norton and declaring an emergency. And again, that's first reading only. Thank you. Introduction of prior legislation, Ordinance 28-2018. So under my committee, I offer Ordinance 28, 2018 for its third reading. And ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance to authorize the administrative officer to enter into an agreement with Engineering Associates Incorporated for professional engineering services in connection with the design of the Eastern Road Waterline Extension and declaring an emergency. This time I move to adopt Ordinance 28, 2018. A second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Tasley? Yes. Next item is Resolution 31 2018 for its third read. Mr. Kernan. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Resolution 31-2018 for its third reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. A resolution in support of the Ohio Department of Transportation, United States, and State Bike Route System in declaring an emergency. I move to adopt Resolution 31-2018. I'll second. We have a motion and a second to adopt Resolution 31-2018. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Next item up is Ordinance 34 2018. Mr. Towsley? Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Ordinance 34 2018 for its third reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance approving the editing and inclusion of certain ordinances as parts of the various component codes of the codified ordinances approving, adopting, and enacting new matter in the updated and revised codified ordinances, repealing ordinances and resolutions in conflict therewith, and declaring an emergency. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to adopt Ordinance 34, 2018. Second. I have a motion second to adopt Ordinance 34, 2018. Any further discussion? This is just kind of boilerplate stuff that we do every year. Uh, it's just updating our codified ordinances with everything that's been passed up to this point. Roll call, please. Mr. Tasley? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Next item, Ordinance 37, 2018, for its second reading, Mr. Towsley. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Ordinance 37, 2018, for its second reading, and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance authorizing the administrative officer to execute and deliver a collective bargaining agreement between the City of Norton and the Ask Me Service Workers of the City in declaring an emergency. And that's the second reading only. Next item up is Ordinance 38. 
2018. Mr. Towsley. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Ordinance 38, 2018 for its second reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance authorizing the administrative officer to execute and deliver a collective bargaining agreement between the City of Norton and the Ask Me Office and Clerical of the City and declaring an emergency. And second reading only. Next item up is Ordinance 39, 2018 for its second reading. Falls under mine. I'd like to offer that for its second reading. Ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance declaring certain city properties as no longer needed for municipal purposes and authorizing the administrative officer to advertise the proposed sale of said property and declaring an emergency. And second reading only on that. Mr. Mr. President, if I might, it is just go ahead. I, I was going to say, is there some reason that we can't suspend the third reading and move this stuff along? I don't, I mean, it's been sitting here for enough time for people to come and speak on it. We didn't have any speakers tonight, so we might as well move it along. I would kind of what I was thinking. Any objections? No. Nope. I'd move to waive the third reading. I second. We have a motion second to waive the third reading on Ordinance 39-2018. Or roll call, please. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Uh, am I confused? Is this uh, the public hearing that we were going to have? No, this no. is the municipal uh, yeah, equipment, the mowers, things like that that we're selling. Oh, I, 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 I thought you, yeah, I thought you skipped down one. Okay, yes. Mr. McLone? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. This time I move to adopt Ordinance 39-2018. I'll second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McLone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Tosley? Yes. Uh, next item is Ordinance 41 2018. Mr. Kernan. I think we have to wait for I think our, we're going to hold off on that. We have to wait for our public That's hearing. The public hearing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we well if, still you're have about, if you're just uh, doing a second reading, there's really no reason, unless you're in. We can do the second. I was I was intending to waive the third Understood. reading. So. Yep. All right. Uh, got about a, probably a minute and a half here. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll take a temporary recess and uh, we'll reconvene with the public hearing at seven fifteen. You want to finish the rest of the agenda, unfinished and new business, and do all that stuff. I was just we'll get it started. Wait. It might take longer than a couple minutes. Yeah, got a minute. Why what? Grab ordinance 39. I'm printing it right now. Okay. I now declare the public hearing open on Ordinance 41-2018, a proposed rezoning from B1 to B3 Business District for parcel numbers 4601182, 4606294, and 4606295. 
Uh, today's date being April 9th, 2018. Uh, Ordinance 41, 2018 is, as I said, uh, rezoning of the property located at 3296 South Cleveland Masson Road and 3078 Jackson Drive from a A B2 district to a B3 district. Would the clerk please certify that the legal notice published in the Barberton Herald on March 22nd, 2018. I so certify. Is there anyone who wishes to speak for the said rezoning and the applicant has the right to speak first? For a second time, is there anyone wishes, who wishes to speak for the said rezoning? Yes. Please give your name and address to the stenographer when you get up. Yes. Yeah, my name is uh, Andrew Day, and we're with uh, Advanced Quality Lawn. We'll be purchasing the property to move our business into that location. Okay. Any questions or anything? Thank you. For a third and final time, is there anyone who wishes to speak for the re said rezoning? I would speak in favor of it, as that is basically a business area. All those areas through there is going to be inclined to go that way. I don't see where this is going to be bothering any of the public as far as that goes where it's located at. So I'm in, I would be in favor of doing so. Is there anyone who wishes to speak against the said rezoning? The second time, is there anyone who wishes to speak against the said rezoning? For a third and final time, is there anyone who wishes to speak against said rezoning? And now to clear the public hearing closed. And I now reconvene the regular council meeting. Any unfinished business? Ordinance 41. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did want to skip that. Ordinance 41 2018 for its second reading, Mr. Kernan. Thank you, Mr. President. I offer Ordinance 41 2018 for its second reading and ask the clerk to read it, please. An ordinance rezoning property located at 3296 South Cleveland Maslin Road and 3078 Jackson Drive from a B2 district to a B3 district. At this time, I move to waive the third reading of Ordinance 41 2018. A second. We have a motion and second to waive this third reading on Ordinance 41 2018. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McLone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. I move to adopt Ordinance 41 2018. I'll second. Motion and second to adopt Ordinance 41 2018. Any further discussion? I would just um, echo what Ms. Whipke indicated earlier. I think it's um, good to see a new business going in down in that district. It's good to see a new business anywhere in Norton. Um, <laughs> I think that's kind of what we're trying to aim for a little more. So um, best of luck to y'all. Any others? I think with the uh, new city administrator, I think we've made ourselves uh, very apparent that we are trying to be business friendly, trying to attract business. So if it's a matter of rezoning something like this where we can help you out, I'm in favor of it. Roll call, please. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Ms. Whipke? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McClone? Yes. Mr. Currant? Yes. Mr. Tasley? Yes. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Any unfinished business? Any new business? Public service announcements? I have none at this time, thank you. All right. We do have an executive session this evening uh, just for the public's notice and for the media's uh, information. There will be no business conducted after we are 
completed with the executive session. And just so you guys know, while that's going on, Mike's recordings, everything will still be on. So unless you want recorded your conversations, things like that, uh, you'll need to go out in the hallway or elsewhere. Uh, at this time, I move to enter into executive session, preparing for conducting or reviewing negotiations or bargaining sessions with public employees concerning their compensations or other terms and conditions of their employment as defined in ORC 121.22 G4 and section 3.12 of the City of Norton Charter. A second. Motion second to enter into executive session. <clears throat> Roll call. Mr. Pilot? Yes. Ms. Whipkey? Yes. Mr. Kernan? Yes. Mr. Gaynor? Yes. Mr. McGlone? Yes. Mr. Carant? Yes. Mr. Towsley? Yes. And at this time, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Markey, Mr. Fowler, Mayor, Mr. Messner. And as I said, there will be no further business taking place after we uh, come back.
It's a nice looking back at history, isn't it? Are you with the realtor? Yeah, I was in the, the zoning thing tonight. Did you want the um, paperwork back? Your no, you can file it in the round file. Okay, thank you. I've got it on the computer, so I, I brought that to the planning commission to make sure everybody knew exactly which properties were which. And we used it. Good. Yeah, we used it in here when the council was looking at it. Well, hopefully uh, I'm going to be back here with some other properties. Uh, get some people looking at some other listings I have on Cleveland Madison. It's nice that people that things are starting to move again, huh? Right. I even have the uh, old red pepper listed for sale. What's that now? I have the old red pepper. I'm I'm not familiar. Mm. Are you not from here? No. <laughs> people that were probably above 40 probably know the red pepper. Oh, okay. And uh, over the years, some people let it go in disrepair. And the fellow that owns it now just gutted it, put all new roof on it, all new HVAC system. Oh, good. He's got five brand new furnaces. All the ductwork is new. Where is it at? <clears throat> it's where Barber Road runs into Wadsworth Road. Okay. And it's about a 13,000 square foot building. Wow. And there's 6.27 acres. And it was a nightclub? No, it was a restaurant. Restaurant, restaurant. okay. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people went there. I mean, it was the place back in the day. Hmm. And it's sort of out by itself. But uh, you know, there's different people showing interest in it. Great. And he's only taking the, re the redo up to a point. Because as soon as he puts all new drywall in, and else, somebody says, oh, I wish that wall was over here. You know, so. Right. Wait and see, you know. Let them put the drywall and the other walls where they are. He has some of the mm -hmm. drywall, has new bathrooms and parts of it. So it's, it's really looking nice. Well, great. So I'm trying to work on some other things as well. How fun. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Bye now. Drive careful out there. It could be slippery. Uh, I think it's <laughs> going to the fill out here. I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> I know.
Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, this kind of crap keeps up on their shots, huh? All right. What, if there is a journey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Scott would hurry up and get up here. Oh, do you need a, he's got a clip over there. <clears throat> and now we reconvene the Norton City Council regular meeting, and there's no further business taking place. So, meeting adjourned. Yeah, I want to. I want to know who paid for it. I know. I know they did. No, they did. No.